Hi, and welcome to Tech Data Canada headquarters. I'm Robert Dutt for ChannelBuzz.ca, joined by the Canadian leadership team at Tech Data, Brian Abig and Ed Galasso. Gentlemen, thanks for having me. Thanks for having us, Robert. And welcome back to Tech Data. So Ed, let's start with you. We recently saw the announcement of your promotion to general manager of the organization, including the role heading up uh, commercial and retail. Tell us a little bit about your new gig. Um, so my promotion really was precipitated by the long-awaited announcement of Rick Reed's retirement. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Rick. I don't pretend to be able to fill his shoes, but I do want to continue his tradition of maintaining a Canadian culture here at Tech Data Canada and of being available and responsive. Uh, I believe that those two things are very important in terms of maintaining continuity at Tech Data and uh, I see that as a big part of my role going forward. Now, Rick's not gonna be moving too far away. Um, we're gonna be keeping him on till uh, the beginning of next year. And uh, Rick will be serving as advisor to Joe Qualia as we continue to integrate um, our good friends over at Enterprise Solutions. Now, you're, you're new to the role, but uh, obviously a familiar face and, and a long time Tech Data Canada member. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about your background and, and what brought you here? Well, I joined Tech Data in 2001 as a sales director and uh, haven't looked back. Uh, it's a great job at a great company and uh, it's really afforded me what I think is a fantastic experience of uh, traveling coast to coast and meeting business owners and understanding their business models. I, I think I'm proud of um, uh, many accomplishments here, but three in particular stand out for me. Uh, one is the development and growth of a Tech Select Canada community. Um, being able to uh, work alongside a, a small group of uh, solution providers here in Canada and the manufacturers that, that support the program um, has, has proven very beneficial to me and my growth in this role. Uh, secondly, I would point to the customer um, segmentation work that we've done mm -hmm. um, ahead of our acquisition of the Technology Solutions Division of Avnet, where we devised a, a different level of service offering to those customers who are focused on uh, higher end solutions, um, data center solutions. Uh, so that whole project and exercise uh, taught me a lot about um, our customer base and what they buy and how they buy. Lastly, and most recently, has been um, our launch into cloud solutions and uh, building that platform, training our sales teams on how to sell and deliver cloud solutions to solution providers. So uh, I would say that those three things really stand out for me in my uh, last 16 years here at Tech Data. And, and moving forward? Well, I will report to uh, Marty Bauerlein, um, who is out of our Clearwater, Florida, worldwide headquarters. And um, although I report to Marty, I find that my work here in Canada, working with the other Canadian leaders, uh, is going to be most important as we all strive to ensure that in this new model, we continue to deliver the same level of service to customers and vendors and employees as we always have. So uh, Brian, you bring that technology solutions background. Can you tell me a little bit about, uh, about your role and, and kind of what you see that bringing to the Tech Data Canada world? Uh, on a personal level, there's not a lot of changes for me. My job doesn't change a whole lot from my technology solutions days. Uh, structurally as well, it doesn't change a whole lot. We've been living in the current model of uh, reporting in through a enterprise solutions division, albeit called technology solutions at the time, um, into the U.S. for the last four years. So there's not a whole lot of change there. Um, I think that the, the bigger question is, uh, we are structuring our organization to serve the needs of what we believe the market needs to consume from a today and future perspective, not cobbling together uh, historical models simply for the sake of convenience. Um, we see this uh, uh, as a very diverse uh, demand inside of the market, and we can't um, under or over serve either aspect, either polar opposite uh, piece of that equation. Um, I think we're seeing that more and more, even at a supplier level, if you look at uh, some of the recent um, supplier acquisitions and, uh, and how they've structured themselves. They've also gone to market with a enterprise and a commercial model as well. And I think you're going to see more of that in the future. And, and again, like Ed, new to, new to the role, 
in this flavor, but certainly a, a longtime veteran of the technology solutions game. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about what brought you here. Uh, well, Rob, uh, I've been 26 years at Avnet uh, and uh, did everything from running a bar to having line management uh, within a distribution to running regions to running the country. So I have pretty much the entire gambit of of roles inside of that channels oriented supply chain conversation and I look forward to bringing that knowledge forth wherever I can. So Ed, maybe you can explain a little bit what this means to the partner base and, and what this means to the channel in general. Brian and I and our teams will be taking the message to traditional tech data customers about all the new service offerings that our enterprise solutions divisions will bring. They have great depth of knowledge in the data center for sure, but there are uh, a lot of offerings that I wasn't aware of until only recently around training and Internet of Things that we'll be able to launch uh, with our many valued customers that are traditional tech data customers. On the flip side, uh, for traditional Avnet technology solutions partners, we'll be able to show them uh, what they will be able to leverage in terms of our integration center and other logistic capabilities. Again, the overall goal is that we will lift both organizations up, that there will be no disruption for customers and for vendors, and that there will be more value that customers and vendors will be able to take out of the new organization as we move forward. And, and Brian, the same, the same question to you, but obviously from the enterprise solutions viewpoint. Uh, well, impact on the channel. I think the, the market, as we discussed on, in some earlier questions, uh, is very diverse and, and is going to uh, be increasingly diverse going forward. I think the model will demand both aspects of efficiency and effectiveness. And tech data has long proven themselves to be experts at the efficiency game. They can drive uh, value inside of an efficiency-oriented commercial world far better than Avnet Technology Solutions ever could. Conversely, Avnet uh, Technology Solutions did a really good job of driving effectiveness uh, of value-oriented sales, being value-rich in emerging markets, emerging net new segments, um, new data center solutions. So it's the combination of those two that bring the strength. And who and how you consume either side of that spectrum is the secret sauce in being able to bring the new tech data to market. Now Ed, with this new structure in place, can you tell us a little bit what we can expect from a Canadian perspective from tech data over the next, uh, the next six, eight months, or even a year? Great question. Honestly, I can't say much about our future plans, but I will say that uh, our goal is to take the best from both organizations and ensure we're bringing that to our traditional customers, as well as provide perhaps a little bit more focus on non-traditional routes to market, like ISVs, as an example. And, and Brian, the same question to you. What can we expect from the enterprise solutions side of the business over the next little while? Uh, well, what's coming next? I think you're going to see a lot of the same reasons that tech data bought Avnet Technology Solutions, you're going to see us double down in those areas. So that's a lot of third platform activity. You'll see security, you'll see analytics, uh, big data in general, um, cloud, IoT for sure. Um, in general, third platform. You'll, you'll see a migration of third platform skills to a broader cross section of the supply chain, both from the supplier, uh, traditional reseller, and the new routes to market. And Ed, bring us on home. Any final thoughts you'd like to share about uh, the Tech Data Canada journey over the next year or so? Well, I guess in closing, I just wanted to say thank you to all of the solution providers and manufacturers who have uh, contacted me and provided me with their well wishes and congratulations. It's very heartwarming. Uh, and in closing, I would say there's a ton of opportunity with the vendor, vendor line card that we have today. Uh, we're going to be leaning heavy into IoT and um, other third platform technologies. We'll be bringing different services to, to bear in the marketplace and there's going to be a lot more to come from this winning combination. All right, gentlemen, thank you for your time. We appreciate you taking it. It was great to have you. Our pleasure. I'm Robert Dutt for ChannelBuzz.ca.